Hey guys, Sean here, and today I'm going to make sure you know how to navigate your hard drive in Windows 7. Everything that's on your computer is stored in the hard drive. And as a Windows user, you should be able to navigate your hard drive. That is where Windows Explorer comes in. Windows Explorer is what Windows uses to navigate the hard drive. Not only am I going to show you hard drive navigation, but I'll be showing you safe hard drive navigation. Because if you dive right in not knowing what you're doing, you could harm your system. To start off, there are many ways to navigate the hard drive. One is just to open Windows Explorer. Another is using the search bar from the start menu and typing in C colon. Or you can just click on the computer button from the start menu. Then to navigate the hard drive, just double click the hard drive icon. And what we are seeing here are folders that have been installed either from the operating system or other programs. To give you an idea of the relationship between the hard drive and the start menu, you can think of the hard drive as a library and the start menu as the card catalog system inside the library which references where things are, so you can find what you're looking for. Now from viewing the main drive, we can see program files and program files x86. Here is where all your installed programs will be. Then windows, users, and temp, just to name a few of the folders you should see. Now from this location, you should not cut, move, or delete anything. Also, deleting programs from this directory is not the way to uninstall a program because it could cause programs or even the operating system to stop working and require a reinstall. If you'd like to modify files, I suggest working within the desktop and document folders. For example, here. This is where most of your user content will be located. Now at the top of Windows Explorer is the address bar. And if you click on one of the arrows, this allows us to change that directory, making for easy navigation. And just to the left of this is the back and forward navigation buttons. Also, if you'd like to see the full address of the location you're on, just click on the folder icon to the left of the address bar. Now, if I was in my pictures folder and wanted to view files in a simpler manner, I just click on the change view arrow at the top of the window. Then I move the arrow up or down until I find a style I like. Also, next to the change view button is the preview pane. By pressing the preview pane button, this opens and closes the preview pane which is nice if you have small icons and like to preview each one. Then at the bottom of the screen is where you'll find details on the file you have selected. For example, size, date taken, and dimensions. Or if I was viewing text, for example, and I wanted to sort by date, I could just click on the date tab. From here, I can sort by size, type, and name. And there you have it. You can now navigate the hard drive using Windows Explorer. And if you'd like to stay connected to this learning course, make sure to subscribe and feel free to rate and comment below. Thanks for watching.